Magalhães, the capital of Tigray, has been devastated with the first deadly aerial bombardment in five months since a humanitarian truce was declared in late March. The airstrike killed seven civilians, including children, and wounded many more. We spoke to victims of the airstrike at either hospital that say a children's playground, residential homes, and small business in the area were targets of the attack. We were drinking coffee inside our home. We heard a violent noise followed by a heavy strike. Our house collapsed on us. The area is a residential area. There is no military target around. It was around 12 a.m. It's hard to explain. This is nothing but cruelty. We were at home having coffee. My kids were with me. That's when the strike happened. There is a children's playground which belongs to SOS kindergarten school nearby. What can be said about this deadly strike? The perpetrators are devils. We have been starving to death for such a long time and now they have rewarded us with an airstrike. <laughs> We were inside our home. I was eating lunch and my mom was having coffee. My sister was also there. Out of nowhere, the airstrike happened. Behind our house is a children's playground. Only God knows how many children have been killed by the strike. It was around 12 a.m. Everyone was supposed to be home for lunch. Innocent children have been killed in today's airstrike. God saved my son. He was near the area that was hit. Children who were playing with him have been killed. Abebe is a coordinator of the emergency ward at Eider Hospital. He says he is shocked by what he has witnessed today. What we witnessed today is absolutely horrific. It's really hard to explain. We have reached a point where we cannot save lives despite our 24 hours effort. What happened to the civilians and children today is painful. Despite the bombardment of children's playground and civilian residences, the Ethiopian government released an urgent notice moments after the attack, warning civilians to stay away from military equipment and training facilities.